Hey guys, good to be with you again. Pastor Gemmon coming to you from our sanctuary. And today we're going to read about how God makes all things new and how on the last day when Jesus returns, he's going to make everything that we see, even our bodies, all brand new. And we will live forever in the presence of God, in the presence of Jesus. So listen closely as I read, okay? A dream from heaven. John was one of Jesus' helpers. He was old now and living on an island, which might sound nice except it was a prison. The leaders put him there to stop him from talking about Jesus. But I'm sure you don't think a little thing like being in a cell in a prison on an island in the middle of an ocean could stop God's plan, do you? One morning, Jesus appeared right there in John's cell. Jesus' eyes were bright, shining like the sun. I am going to show you a secret, John, Jesus said, about when I come back. His voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Write down what you see so God's children can read it and wait with happy excitement. Then Jesus gave John a beautiful dream, except John was wide awake and what he saw was real and one day it would all come true. I see a throne, and on the throne is a king, and the king is Jesus. All around the throne, people are bowing down. They are giving him their treasures. There are loud cheers and clapping, clapping and bright laughter like a thousand waterfalls, and everyone bursts out singing a new song. This is our king, the lamb who died so that we don't have to, our rescuer, all honor and glory forever and ever. And every creature everywhere, in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, joins in. And then, from all around, a wide, immense, beautiful silence. And I see Satan, God's horrible enemy, thrown down, defeated. I see a sparkling city shimmering in the sky, glittering, glowing, coming down from heaven and from the sky. Heaven is coming down to earth. God's city is beautiful. Walls of topaz, jasper, sapphire, wide streets paved with gold, gleaming pearled gates that are never locked shut. Where is the sun? Where is the moon? They aren't needed anymore. God is all the light people need. No more darkness, no more night. And the king says, look, God and his children are together again. No more running away or hiding. No more crying or being lonely or afraid. No more being sick or dying because all those things are gone. Yes, they are gone forever. Everything sad has come untrue. And see, I have wiped away every tear from every eye. And then a deep, beautiful voice that sounded like thunder in the sky says, Look, I am making everything 
new. These are such wonderful words from the Apostle John. What John shares with us about the last day when Jesus returns and makes everything new. It's incredibly exciting. You know, what it makes me think of is what makes birthdays and Christmas is so great. It's because when we have our birthday party, when we celebrate our birthday, or when we celebrate Christmas, we usually get all kinds of new toys. New toys and new gifts to play with. And that's what makes those holidays so exciting. Newness. Well, in many ways, that's what the last day is going to be like. That's what John is telling us about. It's how when Jesus returns, he's going to make everything new. We're going to get new bodies. The whole earth is going to be transformed into newness. There's going to be no more crying and no more pain. It's going to be a huge celebration. It's going to be a huge party. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting because it's going to be new. Just like getting those new toys at Christmas time or your birthday party is exciting because they're new and they're exciting. You get to play with them, something new. That's what the last day is going to be like. But what's going to make it so exciting is not just all of the newness, but the fact that we get to live with Jesus forever, for eternity, for endless time. That's pretty cool, and that's pretty exciting. So let's pray. Why don't we pray together? Dear Jesus, you make us new through your death and resurrection. Comfort us in this knowledge that one day you will return and make things new forever, and we will live for you forever. Amen. It was good to be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Signs of spring are all around us, so this morning let's sing a song called The Butterfly Song. We'll say, If I Were a Butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. If I were a robin in the tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. If I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. And our refrain says, you gave me a heart, you gave me a smile, you gave me Jesus, and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. And the second verse will be an elephant, and then a kangaroo who hops, and then an octopus. And for our third verse, we'll start with a wiggly worm, followed by a crocodile. We'll say, if I were a crocodile, I'd thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And we'll end with a fuzzy, wuzzy bear. Here we go, let's see those butterflies to get started. If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in the tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. All right, next is our elephant. If I were an elephant, I thank you, Lord, by raising my trunk. And if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. And if I were an octopus, I thank you, Lord, for my fine looks. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. All right, time for the wiggly worm. If I were a wiggly worm, I thank you, Lord, that I could.
could squirm. And if I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Have a great day.